Mulholland, as we all know, up until March of 1928, he was the champion, he was the guy who brought water to LA. Because Los Angeles at that time was really, you know, populating. The idea of the St. Francis Dam was as a reservoir uh, to stockpile water for LA. It was a 180 foot tall concrete structure and it held 52 million tons of water. You can imagine, uh, you know, on the, on the night of March 12th, 1928 at three minutes to midnight, you know, this 140 foot wall of water coming down the canyon here and just taking away, you know, everything in its path. On March 12th, uh, Mulholland uh, received a phone call from the dam keeper by the name of Tony Harnish figure. 10.30, Mulholland and his assistant dam keeper, uh, Harvey Van Norman, inspect the dam. They're walking the, uh, the top of the dam, the wall of the dam. At 11.57 and 30 seconds, uh, the lights flickered in Los Angeles for a split second. And the substation, uh, one of the fuses for the Big Creek line uh, at the Edison substation in Saugus blew. They knew even then something was going on. And so the dam collapsed and uh, sending a massive wall of water down the canyon, um, eventually making it all the way out to Ventura. Basically what happened was the eastern abutment, which was over here, on this side, uh, that side of the dam collapsed first. And then it was basically like a domino effect. The only uh, section of the dam that remained was the center portion, which we call the tombstone. Over 400 people perished in the St. Francis Dam disaster. Even 94 years later, some remain unidentified or unaccounted for. It was considered one of the worst American civil engineering disasters of the 20th century.